What's going on everybody, Koiku here, bringing you another video on an off day actually, probably gonna upload this tonight, but Microsoft announced today that they just officially fully released the new Xbox app. This is the one on Android. I'm running it off of the Your Phone uh, interface for Windows 10 so you can try it out yourself as well. But this is how it is, but your experience may vary just because this is projected to my computer screen. So right off the bat, you kind of see the interface and it looks, it looks good. Um, one thing I gotta say, and you probably saw in the title is, I don't, I don't really understand uh, what they were going for with this app because on on the PlayStation side of things, right? You have the PlayStation app, and the PlayStation app allows you to purchase things in its store um, on the app right there. But on this app, you can't really purchase things on the app. So you're gonna see right here. We have the first thing. You got the home button there. You got the contacts. You got the uh, search, which allows you to search for games. So le let's say I want to search for, I don't know, what game is, what game do we want to see? Like maybe um, Halo. No, let's not type in Halo. Let's type in something. Yeah, Halo Infinite. Let's go with Halo Infinite. So I click on Halo Infinite. You see it's coming for PC and console. And then when it actually loads, you'll see what I'm talking about with this whole thing. So there is Halo Infinite. There is a trailer right there. You can go through and see that. But what you notice here on this screen is, although it looks very appealing, there's no place to purchase the game. And that's that's one of the reason, the main reasons why I get these mobile apps um, is so that I can purchase the game. Because if I'm on the console already, I don't need to use the mobile app to talk to friends. If I'm on the console already, even though, yes, your, your phone is easier to type with, um, I still, prefer, I just type with a controller on the console. So I'm not going to really send messages to friends on uh, the phone app, even though I can. Maybe when I'm not on the console is when I send messages, which is nice. But the main thing I do with these mobile apps that are companion apps to consoles is is purchase games. And I like to see, like, can I purchase games? Um, so, like, for instance, uh, when, uh, what's it called? When, when that Samurai game for PlayStation 4 came out, um, I wanted to get it. I wasn't there. I wasn't home at the time, but I wanted to get it at midnight. I wanted to finish downloading at midnight and I was out and about. So I said, you know what? Let me boot up the PlayStation app. Let me download it. Um, let me let it remote download it. And then it worked. The thing you can do here on here is you can you can set up remote downloads, but you just can't purchase the game first. So let's say um, let's say we go through here. Halo Master Chief Collection It's for consoles. So let me press that. And you can see here there's a bunch of things there and whole bunch of stuff in some interfaces on here you are in fact able to initiate downloads for the app uh for for the thing you're trying to download but it, in most cases it just doesn't work and it's it's very strange because sometimes i see it pop up i might be doing something wrong see it says here download to console halo 5 guardians um so i can download to console and it'll start downloading to my xbox console upstairs and that works fine but you still you can't purchase the game if you don't have it if you don't have it at all like in your account purchased or on game pass or whatever it is this download a console won't see, won't show up nothing will show up it'll just be the title bar up there and then it'll just be um it'll it'll just be what you see and it's very dumb to me why they would do that so going down more uh just an analyzing it you got your screenshots so you can see your screenshots um, for some reason, you can't swipe between the screenshots, which is very strange. You have to just like view them as is, which is very strange. I don't know why you wouldn't be able to swipe when you go full screen. Uh, you can rotate it. I'm not going to rotate it because it kind of makes the interface kind of weird on my capture, but you can rotate it. It does have a rota rotated view. And then you can see friends that are playing it. You can see what it's available on. You can see um, what compatibilities it has or capabilities it has, which is pretty nice. You can see those information. And then going over here, you got my library, which is where you see your captures. So like this was when I was playing Captain Spirit, the Adventures of Captain Spirit. And when I click on it, if I can click on it, let's see, there we go. The awesome Adventures of Captain Spirit. You can see I can save that to my phone and it works. Now, one thing I'm not sure of actually is if you guys saw, noticed my picture change to yellow just because of uh, low light mode. But let me let me just do that in just a sec. Okay, and so now that I'm back, so you can save your screenshots to your phone and they'll say do you want xbox to access your things and it downloads the screenshot and then it's on your phone you can share it to friends or whatever you want and that's pretty cool 
Uh, so you see the share button right there and I can send it to friends on Xbox or I can send it to different contacts on the phone itself, which is nice. Next, last up here, you got your profile tab. If you have captures, you can view the captures, which was pretty much this area here. And as you can tell, that's how much storage is on my Xbox. It's on standby mode. You can set up a console, which I don't need to set up any console. You can appear offline and so on. Your abouts, which you can see all your friends, what games you're playing, what games they're playing, and so on. So you can see I've been mainly doing PC stuff. That's why you're seeing Tony Hawk's Pro Skater, Horizon Zero Dawn, and a bunch of stuff because it's on Steam. But it's it's a nice it's a nice application. It works well. You can still message people. You can still just do a whole lot. So if I want to search for a new chat, I can just you know search for people and it'll pop up just like that. I can send messages. I can I can do a lot of things. And then up here you have the X button. I don't know what that does either because when I get into stuff like this, the Xbox button goes away. So I think this is just a logo just to have the Xbox logo there. And then here you have your remote play on this device. So if you have your Xbox One controller available, which I do not, pressing this button, the remote play on this device button will allow you to cast your current Xbox library that is on your console that you own uh, already installed on your console you allow it to pretty much cloud play cloud stream it to your phone or whatever device that's running this xbox app and this in fact works with ios um, because one of apple's policies was actual streaming content that you don't own you can't do on their device but if you own it and it's on your console you're just kind of mirroring your console to your phone or that device you can do it on ios so it works on ios it works well you can manage install games you can open remote control so let's go to manage installed games so i can see what games are installed right now and what games are installed is kingdom hearts destiny 2 battle toads those are what's on my console you can see the file size sorting it's kind of already in the order and you can see a to z you got the remote function right there the usual xbox remote i can turn on the console from this button there it's pretty straightforward it looks pretty good you can even rename the console you can name it to whatever you want so yeah it's it looks nice it it looks nice again the only thing here though is that the, the one thing that i used the old app for which now you can't get unless you're on android and you get the earlier version the one thing that i use the most on this application you can't do anymore and that is purchase games with the application which is what I did a lot and I'm sure a lot of people did as well. You purchase the game when you're at work so that way by the time you come home it's already installed ready to go. So yeah, my rant's over, but this was a quick uh look over, first look at the new Xbox app for Android and iOS and I believe they're updating the app uh, a little bit more for PC. So soon PC will get some features from console as well. So and then I heard PC is also soon getting um cloud cloud gaming with XCloud in the future so we'll see what happens but stay tuned for more news and more just little apps that i look at look cool to me this was one of them this was the xbox app the new xbox app for mobile devices if you have any questions about any of this stuff let me know in the comment section below contact me on twitter follow me on twitter i post when i upload videos on twitter as well if you're not if you're not already with me on youtube here and then i also you know you can send me an email if you have any questions as well that you don't want to get into public we can chat about that as well my name is kwaku asafi with jay hope you guys have a fantastic day and uh take care everybody <laughs>